Hi guys, my name is Minhajadeen Ansari and you're watching another tutorial on C programming and today I will talk about which function is the best function to enter strings into files. So, so far we've talked about three functions, the getS function, the fgets function and the scanf function. So, we haven't specifically talked about how the scanf function can be used to enter strings into files. So, I will talk about that right now and after that I will compare all three functions and I will decide which function is the best function to use to enter strings into files. So first let me uh, define my character array alpha and I'm going to make it of size 10 and now I'm going to uh, okay I forgot my semicolon right here so now I'm going to uh, scan f and I'm going to scan a string so I'm going to use the percentage s format specifier and store it in my character array alpha and in the end I'm simply going to print that string so now when I run the program I'm going to get a small error and Visual Studio always gives this error when you use the scanf function so what I want you to do is that simply copy this CRT secure no warnings copy it and then right click on your project go to properties and go to preprocessor and click on edit and just paste that line right here so hopefully it should work fine so now when I run the program the program asks me to enter a string so let me enter my name is Minhaj so when I press enter only the first word my that is printed by the printf function and this is because the scanf function stops taking input as soon as it encounters a space so in order to solve this issue what you can do is that you can add square brackets right here the power sign uh, backslash and n right here so the scanf function will now only stop taking input as soon as it encounters a new line so it will ignore the spaces so now when i run the program i can enter my name is minhaj and as soon as I press enter, it's going to display my name is Minhaj. So it effectively ignored these spaces. So this is how you can use the scanf function to enter strings into your file. So now which function is the best function? And the, I mean, we have three functions on our table. The getS function, the fgets function, and the scanf function. And the best function is the fgets function. Because the fgets function specifies how much characters the user should enter. So if you enter more than those characters, the fgets function will stop taking the input. So it will only take input up to the limit specified in its arguments list. And we already talked about the syntax of the fgets function. So right here in the scanf function, so my character array alpha, it is of size 10. So when I run the program, I can, I mean, I should only enter 10 characters, but I can enter more than characters. For example, I entered this much characters. So when I press enter, it's going to store that much characters in the memory and so I'm going to print that. But there's a slight issue right here. And that issue is my program has only allocated 10 bytes of space for the character array alpha and when I enter more than 10 bytes of space for example I enter 20 characters 30 characters 40 characters so that may overwrite unallocated bytes in my main memory so bytes that were not allocated to my program that were being used somewhere else by some other resource in the computer that will be overwritten by the characters which I have entered because I have exceeded the limit of my character array alpha the i have exceeded the amounts of bytes amount of bytes allocated by the program for my use in the main memory so that is why you should always use the fgets function and let me just write the fgets function syntax right here to prove my argument so fgets and right here you have to write the uh, your array and here you can specify the exact amount of characters the user should enter so i'm going to write 10 right here so if the user enters more than 10 characters or more than nine characters because the last character is automatically assigned the null character 
So if the user enters more than nine characters, the fgetters function will stop taking the input. And finally, the final argument should be your input stream. Okay, let me just close this. The input stream, I mean where uh, your keyboard, because you're entering characters from your keyboard. So it's going to accept those characters from the input stream and store it into your character array alpha. So now in the end, I'm going to print the contents of my character array alpha. So when I run my program, and I'm going to enter, for example, I enter a lot of characters. This is more than 10. So when I press the enter key, it's only going to accept one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's only going to accept the nine characters and the final character will be reserved for the null character because this is a string. So it discarded the rest of the characters the user entered in the input. So this is all it about the get s, f get s and scanf functions. Always, always use the f get s function when you are taking an input, which is a string from the user. Never use the get s, never use the scanf function because they cannot check if the user has entered extra characters. So it might exceed the size of the array. So if you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section and thanks for watching this video.